This is a garden bench that I've made. I've actually made several of them uh, and put them around on our property. And uh, you know, you you try to go buy a garden bench, and they you know they're two hundred bucks. And so anyway, this one's just um, a few two by sixes and a few two by fours um, screwed together. Took it takes about two hours to make one. Uh, I made the one in the video I made. Uh, it took me two hours from start to finish, and that was doing the filming with it. So you can easily make one um, in a two-hour period. All right, let's get into the shop and get started. All right, here's the cut list. We need, you start out with four two-by-sixes, eight-foot long, and three two-by-fours, eight-feet long. Okay, on the two-by-sixes, you want to cut, make sure I'm getting this right for you here. All right, you want to cut three of them. Three, you want three pieces that are 48 inches long. Three pieces that are 45 inches long. Then you're going to cut two pieces that are 25 inches long and two pieces that are 21 and a half inches long. And we're going to come back to these pieces right here because these two are the arm rests and these are the back braces and we've got to do some other work to these and I'm going to uh, show you how to do these. All the rest of this is just straight cuts. So these are cut, you got three cut to 48 inches and three cut to 45 inches. That's your two by sixes. And then of the two by fours, you've got four pieces that are 23 and a half inches long You've got two pieces that are 23 inches long. You got two pieces that are 48 inches long. And then two pieces that are 20 inches long, right here. All right, let me get you zoomed in here and we'll get these drawn up and to get ready to cut them. All right, this is one of the back braces. And we need to come up five inches and make a mark. And then we come up here to the top on this corner and we make a mark inch and a half in like that. And then we connect those two lines. Just like that. All right, then we're going to come back on this one. And cut that off at 90 degrees right there, 90 degrees to this line right here. So this part is waste stock and this little piece right here is going to be waste stock. Okay, so that's that's our back brace. So it's five inches here, inch and a half here, connect those two lines, come 90 degrees off of there, and that's that little waist piece right there. Now for the armrest, we're going to, all right, let's see. We gotta make, on the armrest, you gotta make a right and a left. On the back braces, it doesn't matter. But on these it does. So we're going to come off 14 inches, 14 inches off the front, it's right to there. And then four inches off of this side right here, is right there. And then we connect those two lines. Okay, so we can, that's, got that relief done. Okay, and then over here, we do a notch out that is three quarters of an inch. Another line, three quarters of an inch. We're gonna come up seven inches, right to there. Okay. 
connect these two lines okay so this is waste and this is waste and now the front we've got to round over the front so let's see we're probably five and a little bit five and a half so half of that's two and three quarters so we're going to start our adjustment by going to two and three quarters let's see how close that gets us put the point on the front and set that kind of what we think is the middle okay adjust it over a little bit okay so that's going to work Well, I'll tell you what, let's shrink that down just a little bit more. There we go. I like that better. Okay, so this, so then we're going to cut this off right there. So this is all waste, this is waste, and this is waste. Okay, now we've got to do our other side. Okay, so we're going to do... We're gonna come four inches off of here. Let's see. I think I like this side up better. So we're gonna come four inches to there. We're gonna come 14 inches off the front, which is right there. And we're gonna connect those two lines. And these, this does not have to be absolutely exact. It's really just kind of decorative, that part is. All right, and then we're going to come seven inches up right here. Three quarters of an inch in. Mark the front. All right, and so we've got, we have a right, this is the right one, and this is the left one. They're mirror images of each other. Okay, now we're going to take these over to the bandsaw and get them cut out. Next thing we're going to round over, this is our armrest again, and we're so we're going to round over all these edges that your hands are going to go around uh, to make them more comfortable. And then we're also going to round over the front edge, oh you can't see that, we're going to round over the front edge of the front board of our seat, and you'll see where that goes later. All right, now I'm trimming that last little piece off of our back wrist.
All right, we take our two 20 inch two by fours and we're going to take the 48 inch two by fours and put them on the front, one on the front and one on the back and the other one down at the other end down there and make a box. All right, that's got that done. I got a little, whoops, got a little bit of warp in there that I'd rather not have, but this board back here is twisted a little bit. I think I can work it out as I go because I can flatten it out. So, all right, the next thing we're going to do is make up the end pieces. So the 23 and a half is the leg, and then this 23 inch piece goes across it like that. All right, we want that base to be 14 and a half inches off the ground. So we're going to mark 14 and a half. All right, there. Now we're starting to get something that looks like a bench. So as you saw, I had a pretty good twist in this thing. And as I build it, I don't want to build anything else to help strengthen that twist. So what I've done is I uh, clamped this end down and this end down, and so now it's flat. And it really didn't take much to do much strength to do that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is put in our back braces, one there and one on that side over there. All right, now we've got to get our seats put in, and those are the 48 inch ones. That's the front one. You want to look and make sure you get the best side up. All right, I'm using some half inch uh, MDF just to space these off, so half inch off, off of this back piece will be the first board. <clears throat> Alright, that's got our seat on, got the back on, and the last thing we got to do is put the two sets of arms on. We want to customize the fit of these arms just a little bit. Yeah, see, now I can take the clamps off, and this bench is sitting perfectly flat. So, by doing that early on, we've gotten the twist out. Okay, so this angle does not match this angle. So what I want to do is run this straight edge against there so that I can capture that.
All right, that's got it all put together, and we'll let this dry overnight, and then I'll get it put it out there. I hope you get a chance to build one of these. Uh, they're a great bench. Thank you for watching.